Gaussian elimination method. Here uh, we shall explain this method with the help of an example. We take a system of three non-homogeneous equations in three variables. We write the system in matrices form. Here the first matrix is the matrix of coefficients. The second matrix is matrix of variables and the third matrix is matrix of constants. Uh, we are to solve the system by Gaussian elimination method. So we construct uh, the augmented matrix AB as the augmented matrix is uh, constructed uh, with the help of uh, the matrix of coefficients plus uh, the matrix uh, of constants. Here the matrix of constants has been uh, included as fourth column that's why it is called augmented matrix now according to the gaussian elimination method uh, we will uh, transform this augmented matrix into echelon form using elementary row operations and after that we shall apply process of back substitution to find the values of unknowns x1 x2 and x3 Let's have a glance at elementary row operations. The first one is interchange of any two rows. The second is a row can be multiplied by a non-zero number. And three, a non-zero multiple of one row can be added to another row. We apply the elementary row operations to convert this augmented matrix into echelon form. For this, uh, we note that the first non-zero element in first row is 1. We transform the elements below these non-zero elements into zeros. For this, uh, we multiply row 1 by 2 and subtract from row 2. And again, we multiply R1 by 5 and subtract it from R3. After performing uh, these uh, row operations, we are left with the uh, transformed uh, augmented matrix of this form. Now, uh, we note that the first non zero element in second row is 7. We transform this element 7 into 1. For this, uh, we subtract R3 uh, from R2. Uh, after performing uh, this uh, row operation, we are left uh, with the transformed augmented matrix of this form. The first non-zero element in row 2 is 1. Uh, we convert the element below this non-zero element into 1. For this, we uh, multiply row 2 by 6 and subtract it from row 3. After performing this uh, row operation, we are left with the transformed augmented matrix of this form. Now, note that the first non-zero element in row 3 is 19. We convert it into 1. For this, we divide row 3 by 19 and we get the transformed augmented matrix of this form. Now, here note that this form is echelon form. So, we have uh, converted the given augmented matrix into echelon form by elementary row operations. Now we convert this uh, augmented matrix into equations as uh, the row 1 will be converted into the equation x1 minus 2x2 minus 2x3 is equal to minus 1. Here, row 1 has been written in this fashion. Similarly, row 2 uh, can be written in this form. And 
likewise row 3 can also be written in this form now we shall apply the process of back substitution to get the values of x2 and x1 we label these equations as equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 we first put equation 3 in equation 2 and get the value of x2 after uh, performing arithmetic operations we get the value of x2 to be minus 9 over 19 now uh, we put the values of x2 and x3 in equation 1 uh, to find the value of x1 after performing uh, arithmetic operations we get the value of uh, x1 to be 11 over 19 so uh, in this fashion we have applied the gaussian elimination method to solve a system of uh, uh, three equations in three variables